Hello and welcome to another exciting edition with me, Uncle Nos, the bearer of good news. And today I have come again with another good news. And you know how I do on this channel. I bring you information about traveling, jobs, opportunities abroad, scholarships, and just anything you need to know about migration. This channel is the right place for you. And today I have come with some important information. But before I go forward, I would like to say a very big thank you to everybody that's helping me to grow this channel. Those that have been clicking, share the likes, uh, the subscriptions, I want to say a very big thank you. And if you see me for the first time, um, I encourage you to please subscribe to this channel and also give us a thumb up because it helps us grow this channel. All right, so today I have come with something very important and I'm going to be traveling to the USA where I have some scholarships that are basically uh, two universities I want to talk about today. We'll be looking at two universities that are giving scholarships and these scholarships are fully funded for your undergraduate programs and also for your graduate programs. Now, in case you don't know, one of the easiest way to travel, or one of the surest way to travel is by studying. And if you have the opportunity to study in the USA, don't take it for light, for, for, for granted. Now, if you are, if you know anybody, even those that have HND, those that have um, under um, just WIEC, you can apply for those programs and be rest assured that if you get admission, it's gonna be fully funded. And before you know it, by February next year, you and your family are on your way to the US. Join me as I go through this process and explain in detail so I can get more information. Today we want to talk about some exciting opportunities in the United States of America. So in this video, we'll be reviewing two universities in the United States that offers a lot of benefits, okay? So one of the benefits that these universities are currently offering, for one of them, you do not need to pay any application fee. For the second university that will be reviewed today, they do have an application fee, but from now until November 1st, the school is applying an application fee waiver, meaning if you apply for any of the programs between now and November 1st, you won't have to pay any application fee. So the second benefit which we discovered for both universities that we are looking at today is the fact that if you are a citizen of an English-speaking country or if you have studied previously in an English-speaking country and your studies were conducted in English language, then you do not need to provide any additional proof of English language proficiency, which I think is also very important for international students, especially those who have studied previously in English language and who are citizens of English speaking countries. The third benefit is that these two universities that will be reviewed today have extensive funding options for students both at undergraduate and at graduate levels and we'll be looking at some of the funding options that are currently available. And of course, the last thing that I would like to highlight about these two universities is that they are currently accepting applications and you can utilize this benefit of not paying in an application fee to quickly submit your application as an international student. So guys, we're starting from the first university, which is Miami University. And we'll be starting with the International Student Scholarship for those who are interested in undergraduate programs. So the school has a range of different types of scholarships for international students. They have the International Education Scholarship where an international student can get up to $12,000 per year. They also have the University Merit Scholarship that international students can apply for. And aside these two scholarship types, they have other types of additional scholarship. They have the Presidential Fellows Program. They have the You Are Welcome Here Scholarship. They have the Produce Scholarship and the translated international student scholarship information. At the graduate level, the school offers funding either in form of fellowships or assistantships. For the fellowship opportunities, they have the Anchtakia Graduate Fellowship and they also have the Graduate Summer Research Fellowship. Okay, When it comes to graduate assistantship opportunities, you can apply for the graduate assistantship positions, the graduate school scholar assistantship positions, or the Ronald E. McNair Scholars Opportunities. They also additionally have what they call the Diversity Enhancement Pathway. All of these funding opportunities are available to international scholars in Miami University. In terms of the academic programs, 
that are offered at Miami University, the academic programs are actually spread across different colleges and schools, either at both undergraduate and graduate level. So they have the College of Arts and Science, they have the College of Creative Art, they have the College of Education, Health and Society, they have the College of Engineering and Computing, they have the Pharma School of Business, they have the College of Liberal Arts and Applied Science, they have the Honors College, and of course they have the graduate school. So you can explore each of these colleges and schools for the program you are interested in. When it comes to the admissions, for undergraduate programs, their admission requirement are basically the common application form which can be filled online, the high school transcript, and of course you can select the Miami fee waiver on the application to apply for free by up to November 1st, 2023. Okay, They also require at least one recommendation from a school counselor or academic teacher. Okay, Now, for standardized tests such as ACT or SATs, these ones are actually optional at Miami University, meaning that you do not have to submit these standardized test scores. Depending on the specific undergraduate program that you are interested in, there might be some additional requirements. So make sure you check exactly the program you are interested in to know what are the additional requirements. And after you have applied, you can find out more information of the steps that should follow after you have submitted your application on this undergraduate application page. For those who are interested in the graduate school, if you want to apply for a graduate program, the requirements are they need your cumulative undergraduate GPA to be at least 2.75 out of 4.0. Of course, you will also require your official final transcript from your previous university to be sent to Miami University for a review. When it comes to the proof of English proficiency, just as I mentioned in the beginning of this video, there are certain countries for which English language proficiency requirements are actually waived for, okay? And right on the graduate application page, you can find a list of the countries right here. So if you click on country list, it will display all the countries for which there are no additional requirements for their citizens to provide any English language proficiency test result. Okay, and you can see that, for example, there are some African countries that are also included here, mostly the English speaking African countries like Nigeria, Sierra Leone, Tanzania, Ghana, and other countries all across the world as well. So make sure you review this list extensively to check if your country is listed here. If your country is not listed here, you might need to provide some form of additional English language proficiency. So before we move to the second university, let's take a look at the application deadlines. So this is very important, especially if you want to be considered for scholarships and funding. Okay. So for the fall semester, the application deadline is November 1st. Okay. So you still have some time between now and November 1st to submit your application. And if you're interested in the spring semester, then the application deadline is December 1. So we're moving on to the second university. And one of the things that I love about this university is that 100% of the accepted student receive some form of financial aid. And I'll be showing you this information right on their website. So we're talking about Simmons University. So for graduate students, the school offers some merit scholarships and funding options, okay? So the school believes that your exceptional academic preparation and hard work should be rewarded. They offer what they call the Graduate Direct Stafford and PLUS Loan, and they also offer some competitive merit-based scholarships for all students. And for you to be considered for a merit scholarship, you do not need to submit a separate application. So your application for admission also counts as your application for the merit scholarship, which is being offered by Simmons University. When it comes to the application processes, the requirement to submit an application and the application deadlines this actually varies by the program that you're interested in, okay? So each of the programs that is being offered they have their own admission process requirement and application deadline. So it's always good to check with the specific program 
to find out exactly what are the processes for that program, what are the requirements to submit an application, and what is the application deadline. So we'll be taking an example, we'll be using Master in Social Work as a typical example. So on the program page, you can find all of the information regarding admissions and application submission for this specific graduate program. So on the program page, for example, you can see the application requirement and other instructions. Okay. So for example, for you to apply for this graduate program in social work, you would need to complete an online application form. You would need to submit your resume. You would need to provide a personal statement, which is between three to five pages. And of course, you would need to also submit your official college transcript as well. In addition to all of these requirements, this program requires three letters of professional or academic recommendation. So as I said earlier on, the requirement for each program is different and you would find the specific requirement in the program page that you are interested in. So when it comes to undergraduate admissions, 100% of first year students receive some form of financial assistance so the diverse student body represent a mix of socioeconomic backgrounds so the school actually work together to put together a financial aid package to help meet each student's need so they use a combination of merit scholarship need-based grants student loans and student employment to meet the financial need of all of the first year students who actually gain admission to simmons university so this is actually a great opportunity for those who are looking for a place where they can be assured of some form of funding if this applies to you then you should consider applying to simmons university the school also has a frequently asked questions page if you want to find out some answers to some critical questions regarding financial aid or application or admissions you can find answers to all of these on the frequently asked questions page for example allows you to pick a subject you are interested in and then you can ask a question regarding that subject and then automatically you would get an answer to the questions that you are interested in for example i am applying as an undergraduate student what scholarships are available to me you can find the answers here after you submit the question for international students they offer a range of need-based financial aid options they also offer competitive merit-based scholarship. So as an international student, even if you're applying for an undergraduate program, you can get a full tuition for the entire period of your study, which is four years. So for you to submit an application at Simmons University, you need copies of your high school transcript, a recommendation from one of your previous teachers, a recommendation from one of your previous counselors, and of course a college essay and you also have the additional option to submit a standardized test scores either the SAT or the ACT but these are not mandatory requirement if your native language is not English you would need to submit a test of English language proficiency but if you come from an English speaking country then this requirement is actually waived for you okay now you can read more information regarding the specific requirement that they are looking for in the applicants. Finally, the school has a frequently asked questions page where you can also get some additional information to some pressing questions you might have. For example, is there an application fee when applying to Simmons? The answer is no, it is free. So do we offer fee waivers for the application fee? Simmons does not have an application fee. It is completely free to apply. So guys, we've been able to quickly review two universities that are offering a lot of benefits for international students. Don't forget that for these two universities, you do not need to pay an application fee, okay? And then if your official language is English, you do not need to provide any test of English language proficiency result. And also, don't forget that these schools are currently accepting applications and you can take advantage of this benefit to submit your application. So thank you so much guys for watching. Have a lovely day.